U.S. President Barack Obama has signed new legislation aimed at barring Iran's recently chosen U.N. envoy from American soil over his involvement in the 1979 seizure of the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. The new law blocks any U.N. representative from entering the United States who is found to have engaged in espionage or terrorist activities. U.S. officials already refused a visa for Hamid Abu Talabi about a week ago after he acknowledged his limited interpreting and negotiating role in the group of student rebels who captured and held 52 American hostages in the 440-day takeover of the embassy in Tehran. The incident was an embarrassment for the U.S. in its attempts to undermine the 1979 Iranian Revolution, which had eventually led to the overthrow of the pro-American constitutional monarchy. U.S. officials have privately said they hoped Iran would quietly drop the issue and name an alternative. However, they haven't. The Islamic Republic has registered a formal complaint to the U.N., accusing the U.S. of setting a dangerous precedent by not carrying out its obligation to issue documentation for diplomats who are to work at the U.N.'s New York headquarters. The White House said the privately signed legislation was accompanied with a signing statement, usually filled when part of the bill is perceived as unconstitutional. Obama added the new law would be used as guidance only. The decision has proved to be a hurdle in the thawing relations between the U.S. and Iran's new moderate regime, led by President Hassan Rouhani. Both countries have been involved in negotiating a diplomatic solution to Iran's nuclear program, following years of deteriorating relations during the tenure of conservative President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. چهار تا کاغذ آمریکایی درست کردن